superhero isn't defined by having superpowers. Being a superhero is defined by making the right decisions for the greater good day in and day out. Yo, what's going on y'all? It's our Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube, checking in. I'm back from my vacation and it's only right for me to drop NBA 2K11 for you guys. I know y'all been waiting on this. I've been waiting also. <laughs> but you know, a vacation is always needed, you know, for hard workers, so... I'm presenting this video to you. I hope y'all like it. You know, I'm back. <laughs> hey guys, um, in this video I'm gonna be talking about my vacation that I went on. But first, let me get a couple things out the way. Um, the first thing that I do want to say is shout out to my 25th hundred sub, which was boredom 224. Um, I know it's kind of late. I know. I'm already at 3,000 subs, but I just want to, you know, let him know that I didn't forget about him. Um, I was supposed to drop this video a long time ago, but due to technical difficulties, <laughs> I'm dropping it now. Uh, the second shout out that I want to give is to Game Face Studios. Uh, that's a community channel that I and Wise and Now run. Go stop past there, you know. You will like the content. You won't be stirred away. We do bring great video gameplay and commentary. Also, I want to give a shout out to Wazen now himself. Um, I was out for more than a week, you know, technical difficulties, and he he did everything in his power to you know keep things rolling. He even you know uploaded something to my channel, you know, to keep my subs and my friends alive <laughs> while I was out. So you know, big shout out to him. All right, with that being said, let's get into it, man. All right. I went to San Diego, right, with the fam. You know, it's not a, it wasn't a, you know, a personal trip, but it was a family trip. You know, we, we went out there on a five-hour flight from Philly. Uh, when we arrived, you know, of course we went to Enterprise, grabbed that uh, 2011 Kia uh, SUV truck. That joint was pretty cool. Like, it, it was pretty cool. And plus, you know, it didn't have a navigation system, but, you know, we have great phones. My girl was using her MyTouch 4G, and I was using my iPhone. So, you know, we were definitely getting to where we needed to go. Um, as soon as we landed, I swear, once we got the car, we went straight to the San Diego Zoo. Like, we didn't even go to the hotel, none of that. We ain't go eat, none of that. <laughs> we went straight to the hotel. Like, we got our trip started. So, we went to the San Diego Zoo. I just want to say that zoo is humongous. i never been to a zoo that big before, like... They had uh, full guide tour buses, like, they had express stop buses. They had little go-karts, like, if you didn't want to do the tour with everybody else, you can get a private session. Like, it was so much, like, it was crazy. Also, we walked to go see uh, the elephants, and on the way, no lie, <laughs> somebody got attacked by a beetle, and I swear one of these beetles got loose out of his cage. <laughs> Like, yo, when I mean the beetle was the size of 350 cent pieces, yo, that beetle was crazy. Like, and you could hear it buzzing as it's coming near you. So, <laughs> somebody actually slapped himself in the face <laughs> trying to swat the, the beetle. It was hilarious, I swear. But it was it was pretty fun, man. Um, We got to see elephants, uh, tigers, bears, uh all types of birds yo i swear to god i seen a bird with a high top fade if you know what a high top fade is i've seen a bird with one real talk <laughs> um also what else was at the zoo four dollar hot dogs was crazy yo when i mean they make money they make money out there because their food was crazy high but Moving on, um, when we left the San Diego Zoo, of course, you know, we threw the GPS back on, and I thought that we were staying in the hotel circle. Um, if you know anything about San Diego, you know what that is. You know, that's where all the top-of-the-line hotels and everything are. But come to find out, our hotel was almost an hour away from San Diego. We were staying, like, out near Escondido. Like, yo, when I mean it was far, like, we had to take I-5, I-15, Junction 78, like, just to get there. And what made it so bad, we were in a valley. So, the hotel was like, yo, we were driving and, like, we're going up and up and up. And it was like a roller coaster. Like, our ears were popping. And, yo, it was crazy, man. Like, I'm, I'm sitting in the valley. We get to the hotel. I turned my iPhone on and come to find out I only had one bar of 3G. 
and only had two bars of Edge. If anybody know what Edge Network is, like that's like 2G or whatever. But yo, it was crazy, man. Like I was so sad. Like it was, it was just bad. Like excuse me. But moving on to the next day, you know, once we got to the hotel, we got everything settled, went to sleep. You know, had to catch up with that three-hour lag. Once we woke up the next day, we went to uh, Famous Dave's, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if anybody know what Famous Dave's is. It's like a, a barbecue pork rib joint. That joint is all that. We went there, ate, you know. And um, once we got done with there, we went to SeaWorld. Now, when I mean we pull a eight-hour shift in SeaWorld, like... Yo, SeaWorld was crazy. Like we, it's like we were, it, like we worked there. <laughs> Once we got into SeaWorld, we uh, we what did we do first? Um, first we had to find out where we were going, what shows we were gonna see. So we decided to go see the seals first, the dolphins, and then uh, Shamu at five o'clock. So we got to the actual SeaWorld at twelve o'clock. So just imagine having to wait until five o'clock to see Shan move. That's five hours itself. So we had we did a lot of stuff. You know, we got on a couple rides. Um, Cause when you get to Sea World, they have the uh, the Sesame Street part. So we did that. You know, uh, that was a total fail right there. I hate Noah for that. But once we did all that, we went to go see the seals. Um, we had to burn a little bit of time before we went to go see the Dolphins because one Dolphin show was already sold out. So we went over to back to Sesame Place and they has th have this type of structure where it's like you're climbing up a net. Like like you're a Navy SEAL or something. Like, yo, when I mean me and my son and his little cousin was climbing up and down that joint, yo, it was hilarious. My girl even tried. She almost lost her life. It was, it was hilarious. She lost her shoe like four times. <laughs> It was funny, man. But uh, the Dolphin Show, the Dolphin Show was pretty amazing. Now, when I mean the Dolphin Show was amazing, like, they didn't just have the Dolphins doing stuff. They had people flying through the air on harnesses, you know, stuff like that. The Seal Show, the Seal Show was very entertaining. They had, you know, like, dance uh, competitions. And, you know, this one guy, he was so hilarious. Like, I, I would advise you, if you go to, ever go to San Diego on a trip, Go to SeaWorld before anything, you know, because you don't want to have the expectation that ain't nothing better than SeaWorld, but at the same time, it was crazy. And Shamu, God forbid, he didn't get me wet. Like, they have soak zones in an arena, so we were at the top of the soak zone. When I mean Shamu and his friends were, like, splashing a crowd, it was crazy. Like, I had my iPhone in my back pocket just in case. That's how crazy it was. But um, the next day, which was the last day, we went to Legoland. Legoland was pretty good. You know, it's for the kids, you know. Um, but it's not too much I can really say about Legoland besides this one little fire truck and fire hose game. Yo, that joint was crazy, yo. Like, me and my girl, we was going mad at it. Like, this, this one family were like, oh, my God, they look like they look like very good competition. I was like, yeah, you better watch out for us. We coming for that W. <laughs> but it was like some type of uh, pump. You had to pump up and down to move forward. Then when you get out, you got to press the button and aim the hose to, like, put out a fire or something like that. And then hop back in and race back. Yo, it was so fun, yo. Straight up and down. That was probably the most fun thing at Legoland. Then, you know, I definitely had uh, my son and his little cousin up in the pool having having great fun. But, you know, it was pretty good. I can't believe they just subbed me out here. You know, I was doing good, even though Rondo hit a three in my face. But it's all love. Um, the video is coming to the end. Um, that was the end of my trip. Basically, after we left Legoland, we went back home, got something to eat, and then got everything ready for the flight back home. And now I'm back. YouTube, I hope y'all miss me. <laughs> I'm out of here, man. I'm King Carter signing out. Peace. I know, I know, man. I lost my handle a couple of times and, and tried to make some plays I probably shouldn't have. Uh, it's a great group of guys to be playing with, and sometimes I get a little over-enthusiastic about making something happen. 
it's going to be that much harder to win games if I can't keep my turnovers down. So it's something I really need to be aware of moving forward.